And I'm here to tell you everything you said about just pearly things could not be more wrong. Let's get something straight here. The reason why you and other black people, and it ain't just black men, it's just some black women that's butthurt too. The reason why you butthurt is because just pearly things showed you up. Let me say that one more again, please. The reason why you're mad and you're butthurt is because just pearly things showed you up. In 2021, we all saw the meteoric rise of Kevin Samuels. And man, it was a sight to see. To see a guy go from like 30,000 or 40,000 subscribers to within like 15 months, close to a million subscribers was crazy. But even better, 1 million followers on Instagram. We saw his lives getting thousands of views, super chats coming in with thousands of dollars, videos going viral on world star hip hop, not one, not two, not three, but many. And then his clips going super viral on TikTok and he became the number one talked about social media commentator in the African-American social media community all across the nation. My mom's from Sacramento, heard about Kevin Samuels on Sacramento. Didn't even know, I knew the guy. That's how big Kevin Samuels was. But as much praise as Kevin Samuels got, he also received a lot of criticism from people within the black manosphere community who I will not mention their names. We all know who they are but certain other individuals, people like Tommy Sotomayor, who leveraged claims that Kevin Samuels copied certain things and phrases from him, uh, some which is not too far from the truth, right? Alan Roger Curry, who said that he took the possibility of sex phrase from him, which he did, right? But the biggest person that leveraged something against Kevin was Jason Black, who operates the business podcast. Now, I don't really listen to the business podcast. I've listened to Jason Black here and there, but Jason Black said a lot of things about Kevin Samuels and that he stole a lot of stuff from him. I'm not saying that he didn't or it's not true. I'm not sure. Um, Kevin Samuels was unique overall, but is it possible that something could have been borrowed or repeated? It's very possible. But it didn't just end with that. All of a sudden, Jason Black had an issue with the Black manosphere. So... Let me kind of tell you how that went. I was getting some videos from Jason Black calling out the Black Manosphere, but I'm the kind of guy like if I don't hear my name for the most part, um, I'm not going to just respond to that particular claim. And when I talked to Kevin about it and some of the other guys, Kevin really didn't take or didn't think that Jason Black was worth responding to because he didn't respond to anybody. So he never even mentioned the guy to me at all. He talked to me about other guys. I won't mention their name right now, but Jason Black was not one of those guys. So when Jason Black was talking about the Black Manosphere, I just thought it was not so important to really respond back. Based on the fact that Kevin Samuels had so many other people to respond to, that's where we put our energy to. And that was pretty much per Kevin Samuels. Not that I have an issue with anybody, that's just how it went. But then we have this situation with just pearly things. So if there's anything that started it with anybody, Jason Black appears to have thrown the first shot. Now, fast forward, Demo. The whole Just Pearly things has been an issue. We know what happened with the slavery thing that she said. We know what happened with um, calling the person the African in front of the white supremacist, um, Nick Fuente, saying that she was late, which for most people isn't a big deal, but for a lot of people it is because why would you have a white supremacist there in front of black employees when you know that white supremacists feel that blacks are less than them. That's the issue. So Jason Black has responded to people who disagree with Jess Pearly things. And I've witnessed his take from what I hear about what he said about Jess Pearly things. I think that it's a fair assessment, okay? Um, and the reason why I responded to Jason Black's video was because Jason Black's video, if you can look at the screen there, he has his video in timestamps. Initially, I went to Bernard Riley who doesn't have his videos on timestamps and he was kind of all over the place in this video. So it wasn't easy for me to digest and respond to, but Jason Black had a better version of the video, which was, you know, malleable to my content. Fast forward, Dima. <laughs> Let's get to Obsidian Mamiya, uh, Mamiya Ali, who is one of the three founding fathers of the Black Manosphere. I give him credit over the other two guys, which is myself and Angry Man as being the real brainchild of the black manosphere. I think he is the real godfather. If there's somebody who's at the top of the food chain, as far as thought processes, it is not me. 
nor is it anybody else. I believe Obsidian is the original mastermind of the Black Manosphere. Other guys like myself, um, and, and, and I'll give a shout out to Ingram, he gave it the name. But the idea is more or less, it's, it's Obsidian Media Network. He is the person that really influenced this thing to go where it is. Now, guys like me came in and took the ideas, you know, a little bit further. He's like Peter, I would say I'm like Paul, but uh, Obsidian has kind of had enough of Mr. Jason Black. So Obsidian has fought back with this report. Play that clip. Because um, our long lost and wayward brother, Jason Black, I refer to him as the anonymity, the black anonymity, seems to have some choice words for yours truly. Now, of course, he's not man enough to mention me by name. He's not man enough to show his own face. He certainly isn't man enough to show his work. But he has so much to say about me and about the work of other people, particularly women. And here I'm speaking of the one Miss Just Pearly Things. Now, let me let me say this. If Jason Black had spoken to Miss Just Pearly Things one on one, the way I did both in public and private and found her wanting, that would be one thing. Fair enough. He had done his research. He had did his homework. He actually talked to the woman. I can, I can respect that. He doesn't know the woman, never talked to her, never met her, but he got so much to say. And this is a pattern with Mr. Jason Black, among a great many other things. He has a punch on for putting his mouth on people he doesn't know, never met, never talked to, but he got so much to say. So since Mr. Black, the black anonymity has so much to say on the matter and he's not man enough to contact me directly to find out what the 411 is because everybody and they mama know how to reach me. Everybody do. It's open to the public. You can hit me up anytime. Because that's how we do it, man to man, where I was taught by my daddy, by my granddaddy. If you got a problem with another man, hit him up. Y'all sit down and work it out man to man and then go take it from there. If he wanted to know so bad what the deal was with me and Miss Ju and Miss uh, Just Pearly Things, all he had to do was just hit me up. I would have been happy to tell him. But since he wasn't man enough to do that, I'll tell, I'll tell him by way of YouTube. Miss Just Pearly Things came to me, Jason Black. I didn't go crawling to her. I didn't go putting my my face in her behind a uh, 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 brown nose. No, she came to me in my chat room while we were having a conversation about her last fall. And I was elated that she showed up in my chat room I reached out to her. Sound familiar? I reached out to her and invited her to come on my show. Now, she didn't have to do that. She did not have to come on my show on London time in the middle of the night over for where she's at and sit up there for several hours to be interviewed. And then, to be brutally frank, black women attacked her. It's up on my channel. You can hear it for yourself. The one-on-one -on -one interview I did with Just Pearly Things. I then subsequently spoke to Just Pearly Things after the interview. It was on election day, 2022. First Tuesday in November. We did the interview, Halloween night. Her and I had a private one-on-one -on -one discussion. The, 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 the contents of that discussion, I will not divulge because that was private off the mic. But I will say this. Everything you said about her, wrong, wrong, wrong. Just flat out wrong. How do I know it's wrong? Because I talked to her privately one on one. That's how. See, people who know me, 
who know the old man, people who know me, know that I do my homework. I rarely talk about somebody and I haven't done my homework on them. One reason why I can say the things that I say about Derek Jackson, for example, is because I did my research. And I'm here to tell you everything you said about just pearly things could not be more wrong. Let's get something straight here. The reason why you and other black people, and it ain't just black men, it's just some black women that's butthurt too. The reason why you're butthurt is because just pearly things showed you up. Let me say that one more again, please. The reason why you're mad and you're butthurt is because just pearly things showed you up. Let's consider and count the ways, shall we? We'll start with one right now. She's actually put black men, notice what I said there. She's actually put black men to work. How do you think she's got all these pieces of content floating around? It's because she's paying black men to do it. I know for a fact that that's true. She has a whole production team made primarily of black people, black men in particular. They do the video editing. They do the thumbnail posting. They do all the back channel, back office stuff. And she pays them well to do it. I know for a fact that that's true. So my question to you, Jason Black, is this. How many brothers are you paying to do what you do over there? Or is it just a one man operation? Like so many black folk do Can't grow shit vertical Can barely get it right horizontal How many brothers have you hired? See I know you want to put your mouth on on O'Shea Duke Jackson A brother that's actually in Africa And has been there for the past five years Hiring African men Building studios and buildings in Africa Trying to bring black men and black women together across continents. That O'Shea Duke Jackson, who's got eight, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight video editors. Almost all of them black men. He's got one white guy that he works with. Russian brother. I'll grant you that. But all the others are black. I know for a fact that that's true. I know so. So if you're talking greasy like this, surely you have to have an all black male production team that you're paying substantial monies to every month to do what you do, Jason Black, right? So what Obsidian is is saying is largely based on his frustration, what I, which I believe that Jason Black has done in the past towards Obsidian. You know, um, I'm buddies with Obsidian, so I am a part of the black manosphere, so I will never go against Obsidian, um, at least you know, not on this at all. Um, he has his right to his own opinion, but you know, we're gonna respect the brother for what he's saying. And um, his report is you don't really know just pearly things. And you've been coming at people a lot who you don't know. And the black manosphere would have never come after Jason Black if Jason Black didn't come after us. So, and he talks about in the clip, like she hires black people. You don't hire black people. You won't even show your face. You're pretty much a guy who just runs his mouth and there's no evidence of who you are. And um, I know that I've heard some people say that, hey, Jason Black showed himself to a white supremacist, but didn't show himself to his own black audience. And I believe that was Richard Spencer. So Richard Spencer got to see Jason Black, but his own audience didn't get to see Jason Black. Those are some criticisms of Mr. Jason Black that, like I said, people can leave to their own discretion, all of that. And that's what Obsidian is dealing with, right? He's talking about those things you know, he's an anonymity, he's a coward, he doesn't want to show his face. Um, but the but that is like might be well and good for what he's trying to say. But I think that what Jason Black is talking about and what I'm dealing with is what just pearly things did say. Now it's true, she does hire black people. She has given uh brothers and sisters out there in Black London the opportunity that they probably wouldn't have had. Um, shout outs to her, right? But just because you do that, it doesn't give you the right to say the things that she said, 
That's what Jason Black is coming out with. Now, if it, if it's that he's genuine for what he's saying, I don't know what his reasoning for saying it is. And I, you know, we can make it for like, okay, he's just jealous or he's just grifting or he just wants to be, you know, saying something or whatever. And who do you hire as a black person? You don't spend no money in the community. Nobody knows you. Nobody has seen you. You've shown yourself to white people, but you want to, okay. All of those are arguments. I think that are different from what, what we're talking about. And I get what Obsidian is saying and his point to everything about Jason Black and his rhetoric against the black manosphere, that would be valid because I've seen Jason Black take shots at the black manosphere and um, which largely I know the black manosphere has usually stayed away from Jason Black, um, has not had any criticism of brother Jason Black. So we've never came after him or attacked him. So I get that. But in the case of what Jason Black was talking about and what I was dealing with in that clip, still doesn't change the fact that just pearly things has a problem, right? And she should have never said that. It doesn't change that. And that's the only thing that I'm dealing with. Obsidian is dealing with a lot of different other things. He even defended me in the video, as you heard. But um, like I said, that's the issue. Let me just also say this, just in general, um, as African-American men on either side of the coin, and it's easy to get caught up in, the, in, in certain drama, stuff like this, but like usually, um, again, like I said, if you can't say like just taking shots at different groups, like if somebody you felt like stole your content, fine that you can, you know, I, I see how you can do that because I've done that. But just taking a shot at a community that let's say, for example, has never dissed you or anything like that. How long are they going to wait until they have something to say back? That's one thing. But overall, the only thing that I'm dealing with with Jason Black is what he was talking about. Just just heard things that I agree with. The other stuff that Jason Black has leveraged against the Black Manosphere, I have not heard um, most of it, or, or, or maybe like three or four minutes of it. I, I have no idea what he is trying to say, uh, but could be some things that are true, and it also could be some things that are also very false, or you really don't know the community and you're just saying things. Again, Obsidian pointed out, like, hey, I was not chasing her. She came over to me in my chat room, we gave her interview, but I want to say this because I'm both in the black manosphere community or at least tied to it a little bit still, not as much as before. And I am a pro black. I would never listen to what I'm saying. Stop the show ever go on her platform. Even if she didn't say it, I'm not going on a platform because the one thing I don't like about uh, that is that she had like people talking about black issues on her white platform. And that's something that she should never do, even though if she might not say it, but now you get somebody inching to make some out. I, I don't like it. I know I have YouTube buddies who went over there. They've collaborated with her. They've met her. I mean, I don't have no ill will towards anybody. You do what you do. Me personally, as a pro black, I could never. I'll die before I ever do it. Never, ever, ever do that. No disrespect to whoever who does. But guys, who do you think is right? Who's wrong here? Is it Jason Black? Is it the black manosphere? Let's find out. Peace.